Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're gonna do a Maya modeling video and we're gonna be modeling something that I have no idea how to pronounce it, right? And I'm just gonna call it a phalange, like, you know, in that TV show. Anyway, it's a pipe connection with bolts and so forth. Something that you see in uh, game situations quite often. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. All right, let's jump in, here we go. Okay guys, well, we're in Maya 2018, let's get started. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a polygon plane, okay? We're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor, and we're going to go in and we're going to set this to 4x4 four four subdivisions, like that, right? Now, if we go in, you'll see that there's one vertex in the middle, and we're going to right-click at a vertex, we're going to drag select, and we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Chamfer Vertices, which will create this little diamond shape. We're going to drag select all of these vertices in the middle. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that up quite a bit, like so. Hit Enter. And then we're going to right click at a face, select that face, and delete it. All right. Then we're going to select the object, and we're going to go to Mesh and Smooth. And we're going to decide on how smooth we want this. All right. So if we go to 2, it's pretty round. If we go to 3, it's almost a perfect circle, right? Um, yeah, okay, so let's do that. We got one. What we're going to do next is we're going to move the pivot point. So we're going to jump to our top view. have to zoom in. Right now, if we hit W, our pivot point is in the center. So I'm going to hit the insert key, and that is uh, located uh, between the regular letters and your uh, numeric uh, pad, depending on if you have that. If you don't have that, just hold down the D key while you're moving it, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're going to move that. We're going to hold down, uh, uh, let's see, V to snap it. And I'm going to snap it, to, snap it to that top corner and hit the insert key again to get out of that. All right, so now I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this, W to move it, and hold down V so it's going to snap to that corner, right? So now that I have two of them, I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate them. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Drag select all of them. I'm going to go to Mesh and Combine. We're going to go to uh, Add, Add, Delete by Type, History, Modify, Freeze Transformation, and Modify Center Pivot. Okay. So now that we have all that, we're going to go in. And we can actually hold down X and just uh, snap it to the center here if you like. We're going to go in and we're going to go to Deform, uh, Nonlinear, and Bend. We're going to hit E to rotate our bend handle, hold down J to snap it. And then I'm going to go in and set this value to 90, like so. We're going to go to the Bend tab. And we're going to push this until we have a full circle. All right. So next, we're going to select it. We're going to go to Edit, Delete by Type and History to get rid of that uh, bend handle. And once again, we need to connect those. So we're going to drag select all the vertices, go to um, Edit Mesh, and Merge. All right. Go to Object Mode, select this guy. Hit Control e to extrude. Let's do 0 0.5 on the thickness. This looks uh, pretty cool. Then uh, that's actually even a bit much. Let's go in, hit R, maybe make it a bit thinner. I think that looks more realistic, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click at the edge, we're gonna double click on this inner edge, shift double click on this outer edge, and shift double click on this outer edge, and go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. And you can kind of decide on how big you want that fraction to be. You can go way up. I'll do 0 0.7. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks fine. Now, I didn't do this one for the simple reason that's where a pipe is going to be, right? So we're going to right click at a face. We're going to go in, select that entire face row, hit Control E to extrude, and W to pull out. And that will basically give you your pipe, right? Now keep in mind that if you are going to texture this and uh, and so forth, you need to keep in mind that your um, poly uh, tessellation is okay. I mean, here everything is divided quite nicely. 
here it is not. So what you would do here is, uh, for example, go in to uh, Internet Edge Loop, multiple, let's set this to, um, let's do two for now, yep. And then you go in and you do two here, and maybe do two here. And uh, yes, it's a, a very high poly, I'm aware of that, but that's kind of the, the thing that you choose. Are you gonna go with high poly or low poly? And then of course you did the same here, right? So you go to here, to here, you get the idea. And then you work your way down, right? Okay, that is uh, basically it. Uh, of course, you can copy this, rotate it over. Uh, so you've got two sections. And if you want to know how to uh, connect these two together, so basically how to create uh, wing nuts, bolts, screws, all that kind of stuff, I made a complete tutorial series on that, right? And I'll put a link uh, below. So uh, yeah, that's uh, basically it. Of course, you can uh, use this as your high poly and uh, bake normals onto a low poly. But uh, that said, this is our video. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to help if I can. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you don't want to miss out on future videos, please subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.